Hi, uh, welcome to KBC Daily Blog. The portion of the Bible we go to look into today is Psalm chapter 56 to chapter 60. But before you go and read the, the chapter of the Bible, um, this portion this week, it might help you to know a little bit more about the history of what happened here. Um, it's a situation in baby's life and his young life when he's, he's becoming so tired running from, from soul. Of course, he wouldn't try to kill him. But eventually, David decides, well, there's no place I can go. Soul won't find me. I, can, I don't know where to go to hide. I don't know where to go to, to run. So David decided to go to the land of soul enemies, the Philistines. So, of course, it was David's enemies as well too, but since David is on the run, he decided to go to live among the Philistines because he think it was the best place to hide. And he knew his soul will never go to follow him in there or go after him because there will be a big battle there, not only against David, sino against the Philistines, a soul to win that. Either. So the problem, moreover, uh, is when David went to the land of the Philistine, his reputation has preceded him. And the Philistine commander start asking questions. Well, isn't this the one guy, the Israeli, singing about it? And of course, they believe. Uh, David is, is a threat for the national security. And then that put David in a very, very tenuous, dangerous situation. And so we have here a situation where David probably is on difficult circumstance, his own issues, his own problem, he found himself. And I really think uh, he was alone, uh, he was afraid, I don't think so he was thinking clear what he wanted to do because he was tired or running already for many years from, from Seoul. So all the things is this kind that David is going, David is doing. So, and you ever been there before? I mean, what I'm asking here is, have you ever been in the midst of circumstance and you look up then? And you realize uh, you are in hot water, you are in a situation because you don't fall. You got yourself in that situation. And what does that do for you? It's a relate to, to being able to go to pray when you start seeing the difficult situation all around you. When that happens, uh, we approach God in a very hesitant sort of manner when we believe that we are in fact uh, to blame for the situation. And could be a number of, of situations, marriage problems, uh, business problem, economical problem, Jerusalem job, and all this for your own fall. And when you go in the place of pray, um, and you start looking for God and you say, how in the world can I go to God and say, Lord, please help me. Lord, please need you when you feel guilty for all this situation. So the people have this tendency to kind of find themselves in a difficult situation and blame yourself, of course. And we got the enemy in there, really, really push us to feel guilty. So, here is the point, when we feel accused and responsible for the situation we are in, we back ourselves away from God. And when I was reading this, this uh, chapter of the Bible, uh, and really, I don't think Lord Jesus God told David to go to live among the Philistines. 
I think he got himself in, in that situation. Um, but the amazing thing is, is uh, David never allowed the guilty conscience to keep him from approaching God. And the, and the reason David did that is because he has a strong grasp of the mercy of God. So David began to pray and say, in verse 1, God have mercy. God have mercy. God can easily tell David, well, well hold on a second, David. Uh, you made your own bed and now you just go to sleep on it. But that is not the voice of our Father. That is the voice of our enemy. And we have to remember he's the accuser. And God is a merciful, patient Father. So understand that. Understanding God's character was allow us to come into a place of prayer and to know what we go to see and to know what we go to meet when we go in there. We're not going to meet a uh, uh, do you know a wall in there and we're not going to have any any answer no no we go to meet up with the mercy of god and remember the bible say god delights to show mercy i believe that when i go to the throne of grace even for i am full the situation and yes i come to him humbly broken my own Hard confessing what I've done. And, and I say, Lord, this is a big fat mess. And there's nobody to blame just by myself. Just but myself. And I know that go to me was God mercy. And so was David. Me was God mercy. And he knew that. In verse 3, he say, When I am afraid, and he was. I put my trust in you, God. I praise in God. I trust. I shall not be afraid. And he says in verse 9, that my enemies will turn back in the day when I call this. I know that God is for me. So, stop one second in there. I know God is for me. Okay, David, I want you to remind Samson. Do you know what I mean? God did tell you didn't tell you to go live among the Philistines. You did that. You got tired, you got paid for, for soul, uh, you run away, you don't know where to hide, you take your own decision, your own direction, your own deliverance, and you went to live among the Philistines. So, you asking now, are you telling me now God is for you? You know, he, he was right. Yes, absolutely right. Now, the, one of the most incredible things that we can come to tempt with us believer is in the midst of our mistakes, God will never abandon us. God is still for us. He is still of you, still of me, still of us. He doesn't treat us like we treat all the people. He doesn't blow up of when we offend. He continues to be for you a nice grace. It is a favor that is undeserved, but it's a beautiful and it's an amazing thing. And David knew that grace to the point that even after he made his own mistake, he said, God is for me. We need to learn from this, you guys. We need to embrace this. We need to see God in like David saw God. We need to see him. We need to see his heart like David saw his heart. And we need to just run to the heart to plead for his mercy because God is for you. Remember, any time, any circumstance, any trouble, God is in there for you. God bless you. Have a good day.